Hello and welcome to another video by Gardensite.co.uk. On this video we're going to be looking at the hose lock range of pumps, the Cascade. First in the range is the Cascade 450. It's their smallest one they do, ideally suited normally for either smaller ponds or a very small water feature. Just get this out. As with all hose lock pumps, it comes with 10 metres of cable, base plate for stability, and a range of fittings. The fittings are only really used if you're going to have it inside a small pond, where you'd need to actually change the size of fountain head, depending on how small the area actually is. Also, if the wind's blowing, you don't want to start losing too much of your water over the sides. There's not a lot when it comes to actually assembling these ones. If uh, you are using it inside a pond, you need to locate the adjuster, the T-piece, which is telescopic, sometimes the actual top, top piece gets stuck in, onto there, and then you have a choice of two different fountain heads. They pop on, and whichever fountain head you need, just clip straight onto the top of it. The base plate locates underneath, and that is the actual maintenance, well, that's the assembly needs for those ones. If the bottom of the pond is uneven, you can adjust it like that and that is all you actually needed to do just to assemble the Cascade 450. As I mentioned with this pump before um, this is the actual assembly to run a fountain head. It's a very simple matter if you do want to use this as a water feature pump and not actually as a fountain pump. Take the assembly off, insert this fitting onto the top. This then will allow you to take hose onto the actual top of the pump. The size of the hose that this takes is 12mm, that's internal diameter, same size as garden hose. You can then insert the actual unit inside a pebble pool or some sort of small container you've got, running the hose then through the water feature to the top. Sometimes people use drilled rocks on there, sometimes it can almost be an upturned flower pot. Just some sort of effect to get the water to come back down into where the pump is. Um, that's it regarding actually using the pump as a water feature pump. The only other points with this pump would be the actual maintenance of it. We do recommend that, as with any electrical items, um, maintenance is key. There's not a lot to the actual maintenance of this one. Uh, as you see on the front, this is an adjuster if you wanted to turn the flow up or down on it. The cage on the outside, it's not a filter as such. It's designed to stop anything going in that can damage the impeller system. So but keep that nice and clean, otherwise if it gets too blocked, you can stop the water coming in which can cause problems to the pump. On the front end is the well cover, so it pops off, and then you have the impeller inside there. That could do the quick clean there to make sure that's all nice and clean. Cotton bud's the easiest, just a quick wipe round in there, make sure that's all clean as well, nothing's in there to foul it. Everything's okay on there, everything looks fine, pop the pump back together. And there we go. Uh, as with all getting all hose lock pumps, I mentioned they have 10 meters of cable, they also have a three year guarantee on these. Okay, thanks very much. That was the Cascade 4000. That covers all the key points of each individual pump. As an overall view, as you may have noticed from looking at some of the pumps before, you'll notice there are no molded plugs on these. Pond pumps are exempt from having to have a molded plug on. So if you receive your pump, there's no plug on there, don't worry. That is standard. You won't invalidate the guarantee by getting an electrician out to put a plug on there for you. We do recommend any installation of any electrics into the garden, kind of anywhere really, you get a qualified electrician to do that for you. That's what they're paid to do, to keep you safe. So always consult a qualified electrician when involved in electrics. On the subject of electrics, when you are doing any maintenance on the pumps, turn the power off. Always isolate the power completely, just to be on the safe side. So before you start taking pumps out of the pond, make sure you do turn the electrics off on that. Um, regarding spares for all these pumps, we have a comprehensive range of spares from the smallest part to the largest part. The bulk motor is not listed as a spare part. It's the main cost of the pump. But everything else from fountain heads, tea pieces, hose towels, we carry those. And they're all available on our website, which is www.gardensite.co.uk. Um, Kind of covers most of the funds there, most of the things on there. All the pumps we said before have a three-year guarantee, 10 metres of cable, 
Regarding the cable, when you are taking the pump out of the pond, always use the handles provided or reach in and get them. These ones don't, the smaller one doesn't have a handle because it's usually meant for smaller ponds, so reaching in isn't too much of a problem. With the other ones, handles are provided, so ideally, always use those on there. Um, as I mentioned um, on a few occasions, cages on the front of these, they're more of a, they're not a filter for your water, they're a filter for the pump. So it stops the pump from sucking anything in that can actually damage the impeller system on there. It's not actually a water filter. So you will need, if you are intending to filter the water, you need a separate filter system. These pumps will then pump the water into that filter system. That will help to filter the water. They'll only handle very small, fine debris, not large things. These are not solid handling pumps. We will cover the solid handling pump range from hose lock in one of our next videos. And that kind of covers all the key points. Thank you for watching a video by gardensites.co.uk. Thanks.